All right, straight up impulse buy. Got me a little Taurus TCP. I wanted a true pocket gun. Not a big fan of the 380, but uh, at 175 bucks with a $50 mail-in or online rebate, uh, it was kind of hard to beat. I had a old gift card for the gun shop I bought it from laying around that I forgot I had. Ended up only coming out of pocket 68 bucks for this, and I'll get 50 of that back when I go online and process the um, rebate. So. Uh, Never had a round fired out of it unless they did it at the factory, which I'm sure they did. So this will be uh, the first rounds I've fired out of it or, or out of a TCP period. So uh, first time I've ever got to mess around with one of these. Let's just see how it does. Uh, magazine holds six rounds, so I'll just go ahead and put five in it for now just to make the math easy. And let's see, I got a three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch um, sticker on this FBIQ target uh, at 10 feet away and let's just see how this little thing does with these what seems to be pretty uh, low profile milled sights. Five rounds, three and a half, three quarter by three quarter inch sticker at 10 feet. <clears throat> uh, I'm happy with that uh, for a little bitty thing like this. Uh, let's push it out to seven yards and see how we do there. Go at the target, uh, push back out to seven yards. I got a second three quarter by three quarter inch orange pasty on the FBIQ. It's the lower of the two squares. Uh, it's probably hard to see on the camera from here, but we'll pull it back in after five more shots at seven yards. <laughs> First one was a little high. Just kind of lost sight of the sticker there. Obviously, it's behind the front sight, but you know, it's five yard, five five round group. This was the uh, this was the five rounds at three yards. This is the five rounds at seven. Uh, just for giggles, let's run it out to fifteen and see what happens. All right, targets at fifteen yards. I got a third three quarter inch by three quarter inch pasty. I don't have really high hopes for this group. Um, I'll try to show you in a second what the sights look like milled into the slide. They are extremely low profile, so I'm really just kind of going to be guessing where that sticker is behind the front sight, and hopefully I can get five consistent guesses and get a feel for, you know, what kind of group I could expect at this distance. Five rounds, 15 yards. Better than I thought it would be. <clears throat> and this is right out of the box. I haven't cleaned out any factory grease. I haven't replaced it with any lube or cleaned it or anything. This is just right out of the box. And there's my five shots at 15 yards. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm happy with that. I was, like I said, just kind of guessing where that sticker was at. Uh, I'm going to do one more group ju just to play with it uh, at 25 yards and see what it looks like. All right, target's way out there at 25 yards. The, the fourth and final stickers in the middle of the head. I obviously won't be able to see a three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch sticker that far away, uh, especially when there's not a lot of contrast between the sticker and the target. I'm just going to be centering the front sight in the middle of the head, and hopefully all five will touch the paper so I can get an idea of what the group size would be there. Um, I think all five of the seven yards would have, but our 15, let's, let's see what the, the 25 looks like. Man, it's hard to even tell what the head's at.
I'll tell you what was the issue wasn't even the front sight. Um, I was having a hard time finding the top of the rear sight because with the target all the way out there and shooting at the head, the, the grayish black backdrop of the range um, blends right in with the rear sight. But the group's not all that bad. Uh, it's a little low. I probably erred on the side of shooting low just to make sure I was hitting paper somewhere. The group is actually not all that much bigger, you know, if you take away that one little flyer to the top right, than the 15-yard uh, group. I'm really happy with these four at 25 yards. Let me see if I can get give you an idea of what those sights look like. Maybe with a little contrast on top of this target, I'll, I'll try. See how low profile those are off the slide? Uh, it's incredibly difficult to, to do sight picture and alignment at 25 yards, uh, especially when that black blends into the black and gray on the backdrop of, of the range. But all in all, first impressions, I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with it for what it is and what it's intended to be. I mean, for me, this is a true pocket gun. This is something small enough you could put in your pocket uh, just to give you an idea of the size. Well, I'm right-handed for a reason. There, there's the gun in my hand, just sitting on my hand, and I'm not a huge guy, you know? So it's a, it's a, it's a fairly small gun. Um, I think it would be fine in a pocket. Matter of fact, take this karambit out of my pocket. There it is in my pocket. So uh, it's a legitimate pocket gun, and for you know what will end up being eighteen dollars out of my pocket, uh, you know, out of my wallet for a gun like this.